um, language. Yes. So, Omola and Jackie, as you guys told me, that as you guys say, it's uh, you guys are all correct. So, um, Hangul was invented by an ancient Korean king called King Sejong. King Sejong. King, have ever, king have, Sejong. King Sejong. Have you ever guys heard about his name? I've no. heard yes, but um, it's difficult to remember. King Sejong. Yeah, King, king Sejong. Sejong. Yeah. He is on the 10,001 bill of South Korea, which is like $8, uh, like $7. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I mean, like maybe like $8 or something. Yeah, it's worth $8. So, um, okay. yeah, I'm going to show you the bill. Okay. I've just subscribed to your channel as well. 감사합니다, uh, Jackie. 감사합니다. Thank you. So. I was also. Wow. 감사합니다, 여러분들. Thank you very much. I need to try hard. 감사합니다. Okay. 감사합니다. Got it. 감사합니다. Wow. 감사합니다. Okay. okay. So. 너무 고마워요, 여러분들. 열심히 하겠어요. So. Can you see the bill of the green bill? Green bill. Yes. Yes. This man is King Sejong. Yeah, this man is King, King Sejong. Okay. So we're gonna talk about uh, talk about him. Um, so who is King Sejong? Is yeah. Thank you, Isa. 감사합니다, 이사님. 이사님, 감사합니다. So, do you guys know Isa님? Isanim is very like big person. Isanim like board of director. Isanim means board of director. So when I call Isanim, it's for the like almost a CEO. When I call CEO, like a CEO person, Isanim board okay. of director. Thank okay. you, Isanim. Yeah, my board of director. You are my CEO. Okay. So. <laughs> okay. So. Let's begin from the lecture of this king. I know it's a little bit boring, but you guys have to know, you guys need to know why Hangul was invented. And when you guys try to study Hangul, after you guys know this philosophy of Hangul, then it'll be much easier to understand. So that's why. So maybe it's a little boring, but I'll try to say something interest, as interesting as much. Okay. Let's begin okay. from this king. So King Sejong is the like fourth emperor, a uh, fourth king, emperor. Yeah, let's say emperor. Fourth emperor of Joseon Dynasty. Joseon Dynasty, which was like Joseon. you can just say, have ever guys heard about the Joseon Dynasty? Maybe you have saw the yes. yeah. like K dramas, K dramas. Mm, okay. Yes. So it was the early 15th century early 15th century which means it's like about like 620 years ago or something yeah so yeah maybe almost like 600 years ago so he was a son no he was a son of the third emperor yeah but his dad to be honest his dad was like a like dictator he was she's uh, his dad was like a dictator so she killed so many people and even his brothers to be a king so yeah to be a king and then he settled up the basis of Joseon government and then because she got she got tired and then because she regretted about his sin that she killed his brother to become a king and even his dad I mean King Sejong's grandpa even hated his son which is King Sejong's daddy yeah mm -hmm. so yeah. Oh, I should retire the king. Hey, Sejong. Hey, King Sejong. You must be the next king. So, this guy became a king. And then, he tried to get uh, independent from China. China. He wanted to become independent from China. So, the first key to get independent from China is to develop original Korean character. So, he... Uh. So I'm, that's why I'm, I'm so sorry. 
Thank, thank you, Chase. Sorry about that. Is that why um, when you go into history, you'll see that the um, that time's um, language is very similar to the Chinese characters because Chinese characters were um, part of the that time so before Hangul was created. Yes, Hangugo is totally different from Chinese, but there was no Korean original character until 15th century. We always okay. used Chinese character. Yeah, Hanja, which mm. is called Hanja. So she Hanja. tried to make own original character of Korea to get like, I mean, culturally independent from China. So she tried to develop Hangul about like 30, it, 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 about like 30 to 40 years. So he called, so he called the scholars, I mean the linguists of South, uh, of Korea, I mean the Joseon. And then they, and then he ordered the scholars in the, the, the uh, he ordered the scholars to, um, to research 10 kinds of languages in all over the world, like Chinese or Japanese or Indi, like Hindu or Arabic, Arabic, mm -hmm. or like maybe the Vietnamese. Yeah, all of the stuff. So she called the scholars, she made an institute. Yeah, this, I mean, this photo, can you see the photo, Jackie and Omola? Yes, I can, yes. Yes, so. Yes, I can. So this is a Korean, this is a Hangul Institute which is called Jipyeonjeon. Yeah, Hangul Institute. It's still in a, on a like tourist attraction side. You can see this in Seoul. So this, um, so this building was built about like 600 years ago for the scholars uh, institute to research and develop Hangul. And then also there was a dormitory for scholars and the government gave all the food and clothes and bed stuff and then maybe like maybe like putting some girls yeah putting some their wives or girls to get a relationship with them yeah so she gave uh -huh. a lot of welfare for the scholars so so after like 36 years of the like research hangul was made hangul was born like this i'm gonna show another library from mine okay hold on a second please okay so that made hunger. Yeah. Like this one. Yeah. So King Sejong um, declared uh, King Sejong declared Hangul in 1443. Okay, any questions? No. Okay. Yes. Nineteen consonants and twenty-one vowels in the Korean alphabet. Okay, that's not a lot. Yes, it was, but now mm. there are ten consonants, and uh, no, I mean fourteen consonants. Now it's fourteen consonants and ten vowels. Now, yeah, eleven vowels and five vowels were deleted. Okay, could you please repeat so, the so part? The, so technically, the word Hangul means Korean letter. Yes. So, the six, uh, during the 600 years, five consonants and 11 vowels were, um, uh, 11 vowels were eliminated. It, it's, it doesn't use, it, it is not in use anymore. Yes. Mm. Okay. Um, huh. Could you please repeat the part of 10 different languages? For example, like Chinese, of course, they need to research Chinese, Japanese, like Vietnamese, or like Khmer, at that time Khmer was a big country, I mean Cambodia, like Khmer, or like Laos, maybe like Hindi, uh, Hindi, or like the Malaysian, the Malay language, and then yeah, at the time there was no English, so no English in Korean, so mm. maybe like Hindu, maybe like Punjab languages, or maybe like Southeastern, mainly I guess, they mainly research about the Chinese and Japanese and Southeastern languages or like 
Indian languages, which is like Hindu or Punjab, blah, 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 and so on. So finally, they made these 19 consonants and 21 vowels in the Korean alphabet. And then, do you guys know that, have you guys heard about the date called Hangulla? Day of Hangul. Have you guys heard about? Day of Yes. Day of Hangul. How about you, Ara, Jaffi, Omola? Have you ever heard of it? Is that the celebration of the of Hangul, the day when to celebrate the the tradition of um, Hangul, the language? Yes. So, like in nineteen nine, in fourteen forty three, October 9th, Hangul was declared. From now on, Hangul is a national character. And you guys don't mm. need to use Hanja, which means Chinese character. You guys don't need Hanja. Now Hangul is published, established. So that's how we. Uh, that's the biggest. That's the birth of Hangul. But the thing is, um, because um, China was the strongest country at the time, and the strongest country in the world at the time, and because. The Korean governors really took care of the China's reputation. The like the posh people, I mean the aristocrats or bourgeois, I mean the rich people and high status people in Korea didn't like it, like the decision of King Sejong because if the ordinary people knows the letter and then ordinary people know how to read and then how to write something our caste, our caste will collapse and then it'll, it'll, uh, it'll trigger the social confusion, I mean the anarchism. So rich people really didn't want to use it. So they, they, so, so they thought, uh, they redeemed that Hangul is for the like, like secondary, secondary letter and the first letter is Chinese because if they know Chinese, it is easier to get deal with Chinese government. But King Sejong mm. didn't really care about the repetition for the high, the, for, from the rich people and high status people or governors. Just, yeah, if we don't have our own character, our culture will be dominated by China forever. Mm. I understand. Okay. Yes. Um, but even in today's society in Korea, right? Mm. Most elders that are still in a very high position or a higher class, do they still prefer um, the old Chinese, what do you call it? Uh, Hanja. The Chinese language. Hanja. Hanja. So do nowadays, they still... yes. Do they still use it, right, mm. Jackie? Because mm. I've, heard, I've heard that the language is a bit different to um, the more modern type of um, society. So when I... Uh, more older, um, you know, the elder um, people, yeah. I can hear the accent and the wording is different too, yeah. Yes, that's a good question. So, um, the Korean people, yeah, so nowadays we don't use Hanja anymore, not much. Hanja, we mm -hmm. like Hanja, the Chinese character is somewhat like a Latin language for Koreans, like when American people think Latin language. For Korean people, Hanja is same. Hanja, we don't use it that much anymore. Except when we try to say the country's name, such as Japan and China, America or France or like England, we use ca we use Chinese character when we symbolize the nation the nation's name. But we don't use it that much anymore. But instead, I don't know why. But to be honest. The lawyers in Korea, they wrote a lot of things related to law in Chinese character, Hanja. So, so um, yeah, to be honest, the lawyers in Korea, they try to they try to study Hanja hard to, you know, to um, remain, retain the system uh, of their like high caste forever. So they don't try to, they don't try to interpret all the Chinese characters to Hangul that much. So it has some part of, but to be honest, in like socially, Hangul is almost like 99% as nine, I, in my opinion, maybe 98%, but Hanja, 2%. Mm. But if you know Hanja, Kanji much more, 
then it will be much easier to understand Korean. Plus, Hangul is the basic. Hanja is optional, but if you know Hanja well, maybe it's 100, 100 times easier to understand Korean. So, that's the relationship between Hangul and Hanja. Okay, is my explanation okay, mm. Jackie? It's perfect, yes. Okay. So, it's okay. So, any questions about what I told in this lecture? Any questions include no, beauty? No, I understand completely. Adrija, fine. Because this is like my first time of hearing anything about the history. I don't know. I'm not familiar at all with anything. So I'm just listening and judging. Please. Yes, it's okay. It's okay. So history stuff is end up here. It almost ending here. So the Korean, the, the, the basic system of Korean didn't change. So. For example, there is an initial consonant. It is cons the, the Hangul character is consisted of three syllables, such as initial consonant, we say 자음, and next, vowel, 모음, and 받침, which we call final consonant. Have you ever guys heard of it? Consonant plus Vowel plus um, I, I jotted a few down when I was learning from um, Duolingo. So it's uh, vowels, uh, double vowels, um, plain consonant, aspir aspirated consonant, and uh, tense consonant. So that's what I know. Yes. So nowadays, yeah, so nowadays we have only 14 consonants and 10 vowels. But let's forget about double consonants or double bachim or like double consonants. Yeah, let's forget about it now because you guys are totally mm. zero based. Yeah. Yes. Okay. So we have these kinds of like confirmation uh, and the con this kind of like Hangul models. Mm. Okay. So like e ka, which has no bachim, and kai. Example three, we have um, single consonant, single vowel, single bachim, and then example four, it is considered a double bachim, like pi, pi, like this one. Yes. Pi. So you don't, you guys don't need to memorize all of these things like a test because I, I, uh, I don't want to get, I don't want you guys to do a pop quiz. This is just for examples. Yeah. So. Okay. So don't get stressed. Yeah, I'm not teaching it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and vowels form. Yeah. Also, this is very important one. So Korean vowel. So do you guys know? Yeah. When Korean people type something on the uh, on their Android or iPhone, Korean people prefer to type with chunji in. You guys need to know this. The mm -hmm. keyboard, chon, chon ji in, chon ji in, which means heaven and man and earth. So heaven, man and earth makes the world. Yeah, the three Korean vowels are inspired by three core elements of Korean cosmology. So that's why Korean people type vowel with this system. I'll uh, yeah, I'll show you the system of the Korean uh, of the how Korean people use this one. So the, the keyboard of Chonjin. So we call this Chonjin keyboard. Yeah. Hold on a second. Um heaven and ma man, it looks very Japanese to me because man that is like Jin in Japanese almost. Yes. So Korea Jin. and Japanese and Chinese people, our mm. only one common thing to share is Hanja kanji. We share the same Hanja because Korean, Koreans used to use um, used Hanja, yeah, the kanji, and Japanese people also get kanji Hanja from China. So Korean and Japanese people got Chinese character to communicate with Chinese government and Japanese government and Korean government. So yeah, I, I know. I mean the Korean people. So let's say this. And so I'm gonna show you this. Yeah. So this is how Korean people type 
vowel. This is the system called Chunjin system. Yeah, it's much. Yeah. To be honest, it's much more faster to type. When it's query the query keyboard, it takes a little. It, it takes a little time, a uh, much more time, than Chunjin this Chunjin system. So I use Chunjin system always, and I think most Koreans would use Chunjin system. So that's why Korean people has this kind of keyboard system in their iPhone or Android. But in keyboard, we use QWERTY keyboard, of course. Mm -hmm. And then also, when we type keyboard, left hand, left hand only for consonants. And right hand, hand only for vowels. So it is divided and separated. So it's very efficient. So that's why Korean people type something very fast. It's very efficient. So that's why Korean people used to say "pali pali," and then that's why Korean people very like requires a lot of efficiency than any other people, in my opinion, because we have this kind of like characters, and then it was invented about like six hundred years ago. So in my DNA. I can't say I, I can't deny that I require something most efficient thing and the most dynamic thing. Yes, to be honest, I don't deny about my DNA. So that's why. Mm -hmm. So Tanmo, the single vowels. Yeah, we use like this. We have only this dot, one dot, one heaven, one heaven, one dot. Like ah, o, o, u, i, e, e, e. Yeah, and then ijumo. Yeah, it has which has. What do you think of it, Jappy? Do you think it has two dots or one dot? Which one? Yeah, 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 yo. Yeah, 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 yo. Yes. Yeah, 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 yo. Yeah. If it is, you're asking me if it has one dot or two dots. Yeah, two dots. Um, it consists of two dots. So let me let me clarify this one. Okay, so dot means heaven. E uh. means man. The stick is man, and horizontal vertical means man. And horizontal, horizontal. This means oh my god. Uh. This means like earth. Yeah, earth. Uh. Okay. Yeah. So, but you don't guys. To be honest, you guys don't need to memorize all of this. I'm not gonna test this. And Korean people even doesn't answer uh, answer. Hey, what is this like diplo thumb <laughs> or what is this single one of a thumbs? They don't they, they don't ask him. Even I don't really care. Yeah. So it has like two dots, like ya, yeah, yo, you, yeah, yeah, like this one. Okay. So that's the. That's how King Sejong made Korean language, a uh, Korean alphabet called Hangul. Any questions? This is how King Sejong developed Hangul. Any questions, ladies and gentlemen? No questions. Um, okay. Um, so. Yes, I'm looking Jackie. at this. The one is wa. The other one is we. We. Wa. Wa. We. Wa. We. Yes. Wa. We. Yes. O. Are you saying that o? We. Is it o? We. So the good question. Say we. Why? We. 자기야 왜 삐졌어? 자기야 왜 삐졌어? Hey, darling. Hey, sweetie. Why are you in a long face? In this case, we say where. Oh, why? There is a siren. <gasps> oh my God! There is a bus accident. Oh my God! Yeah, in front of yeah, yeah, from my uh, from my apartment. Yeah. Oh, there is a bus accident. That's why. Oh my God! Bus crash. Are you serious? Yes. Oh uh, yeah, there was a bus crash. So, oh, oh my word. well, that never mind. Fine. I didn't get anything hurt. Uh, I'm in my flat, so. Anyway. I'm saying those in the bus. <laughs> yes. So, 자기야 왜 그래? 
We say we W A E and we we is like like this one like we 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 it's the same as like o the o character which has two dots over it. I think it's much easier. O with two dots. Do you know what I mean? O with two dots is the most, it's the nearest pronunciation. So, we, 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 Or like, we, 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 expression. It's a very expression language. You have to put a lot of expression when you speak. Yes, that's for sure. Okay. Yeah. But, yeah. Any other questions? Any other questions, ladies and gentlemen? No, no, I'm, I'm fine on the side. Okay, so this Hangul system was, yeah, it lasted until 19th century, but still, to be honest, still, it is only used for the ordinary people who is like, who is not high class people. But most people in Korea, they used Hangul. But the governors or like high class people, high class people, they prefer to use Hanja. But Hanja. Hanja. But the thing is, after the Japanese, the Japanese, um, the, the Japanese imperialism invaded Korea in the late 19th century, all the Korean people realized that wow, we should we should keep Hangul. We should protect Hangul from Japanese culture. So, this linguist, whose name is Chu Shigyeong, this linguist try a lot hard to, the, to modernize Korean writing system and make all the Korean dictionaries to protect Korean culture and Hangul from Japanese, uh, Japanese government. So, he got a lot of like punishment from Japanese government, but he didn't care about it. Yeah, mm -hmm. there is a movie about how Korean protect language from Japanese. So I'll give a YouTube link of the movie. It's called Mai Moi. Mai Moi. Mai Moi is mm -hmm. the it's the name yeah. of the the name of the, it's the title of the movie. So I'm gonna share this on the YouTube. Okay. So hold on a second, guys. I'm gonna share the link. Okay. So this is the link of the YouTube channel. Yeah. Ah, uh, got it. My moi. So, my moi means the Korean dictionary. So like a uh, Korean dictionary, and also under the colonization of Japan, uh, Japanese government when uh, like hundred like 10 years ago, um, Japanese, you know, Japanese teacher banned Korean students. When they use Korean, they try to hit the Korean student or they get punishment to Korean students. Or if we say something in Hangul, even police arrested Korean people because they got scared yeah. that they wanted Korean people to be Japanese, but Korean people still resisted because we had Hangul. So that's why the Korean culture was not dominated 100% by Japanese culture. Maybe like 10% to 20%, I understand it, but that's why we didn't get colonized 100%. Yes, Anji, thank you. This is such an interesting movie to watch. After watching it, you watching it, you value the Korean language more. Yes. So, this movie is a story about the linguist whose name is Jushigyeong. Jushigyeong, yes. So all the Korean people, yeah, Chu Shigyeong. I'm gonna type it again in Korean. Chu Shigyeong. Chu Shigyeong. Yes. Chu Shigyeong. So yeah, and then Chu Shigyeong, and then another um the like Baptist I I'm the Baptist monk. How can I say the Baptist priest? Yeah, Baptist monk whose name is Underwood, Underwood, Mister Underwood, Priest Underwood. He is a founder of Korean university called Yonsei University. Yes. 
Ah, no, Yonsei University. Yes, Yonsei University. He's a founder of Yonsei University. Yes. Um, and he is a Christian, and then he modernized the Korean, the Korean language system with Jushigyeong, with this person. So that's why Korean have blank, like, 나는 잠을 잘 거야. I'm going to, in me, which means I am going to sleep. But when we type this in Japanese, 私は寝るよ。私は寝るよ。Yeah, I speak Japanese as well. So, 私は寝るよ。But we don't have a blank, it's meaning. So, also Chinese character, like we can say, 我想睡觉。Yeah, 睡觉。I'm going to sleep. I am going to sleep in Chinese. Okay, so I'm going to. 我要去睡觉 So 我要去睡觉 So when we try to when we say or when we look at Japanese or Chinese Chinese sentence, is there a blank? Jackie Omola Anje. Is there a blank, sir? Is there a blank in Japanese and Chinese uh, in Japanese and Chinese sentences? Um, when you say blank, what do you mean blank? Blank like this. I blank am blank going blank to oh, blank you sleep. Space. space. Yes, yeah, space. Oh, okay. So um, I yeah. don't think kanji no. There's no space in kanji compared to Hangul. Yes. So Japanese and Chinese sentence, there is no space. But Korean sentence, mm -hmm. we have a space. So before Korean was modernized, we mixed hancha and hangul. We mixed it, and then mm -hmm. we didn't have a how can I say so that we didn't have a space. But after Chushigyong and Underwood did a like great did a big project of modernizing Korean. Now Korean sentence has a space to to distinguish each meaning like an english mm. or like a western like a western languages so that's how korean became yeah uh, korean became modernized it's about like early 20th century and then the mid 20th century korea got independent from japan but what we had do you guys know is there anybody know after we got independent from Japan. What was occurred? Do you know anything? Hint. Kim Jong Un, the missile. What? How did Korea became? Does is Korea one country or two countries? Divided two countries it's or one country? North and South, isn't it? Yes. So Korea separated to two Koreas, which is North and South. In North and the accents are also different. I mean, the way you use your um, language is different, isn't it? Yes, a little changed. Mm. So, 1945, yeah, 1945, we got independent, but 1940, 1950, we got divided to two Koreas. So, uh. nowadays, we have two kinds of Korean. The left one is north one. Right one is Korean language, what I use. Yes. Mm. So we got separated for about like 70 years. Yeah, and we, we got separated about 70 years. Our language change is now, now the gap, the, the gap difference between North Korean and South Korean is getting like a bigger, a bigger and bigger. So now we have two kinds of Korea. We use Korean, but in North Korea, we say Bunhao, Bunhao, culture language. And this is, to be honest, Pyongyang dialect, dialect from Pyongyang. Yes. So yeah, the yeah. standard Korean, yeah. So to be honest, the standard Korean used in North Korea is Pyongyang dialect. So they even know. Even North Korean even know that they're using a dialect, because the Koreans, the capital city of Korea from Joseon Dynasty was Seoul. And so Seoul was mm -hmm. a like capital city of Korea over like 620 years, and even North Korea admitted 
that the Korea, North Korea's capital city is Seoul until 1974. Until 1974, even North Korean people recognized that Seoul is their capital city. But as the, uh, but as the separation of North and South, it's, uh, South and North is getting, like, getting longer. Kim Il-sung changed now, from now on, Seoul is not our capital city. Pyongyang is our capital city. And let's make this culture language to North Korean standard language. So Pyongyang dialect became a standard Korean in North Korea. Yes, that's how Korean. Uh, that's the history of the flow, the historical flow of Korean language. Yes, this is the end. Yes, not end of the lecture, but the end of the story. <laughs> Yes. Of the story, mm. okay. Of the history. Yes. I really appreciate Thanks. you guys. I really appreciate you guys to take this such a boring class. But after no, you it's guys. Not boring. Yes, but if, after you guys understand this kind of historical background of Korean character, and then you guys will know. You guys would study Korean much more efficiently and then much more. I mean the moving, moving your heart. So that's my concept of that of, of um, inviting new Korean learners. Yeah, this is my style. Thank you. Any questions about the Korean vowels or my upcoming Korean lectures? Anything you guys want? Mm. Um, if I just I'm looking at and after what I've heard about the history and. It is very similar to um, what our history is here in South Africa um, when the Dutch invaded and the British invaded and um, the, the, um, the people on Cape Town had to actually basically use their own language so that they, you know, can mm. distinguish and, and communicate without being found out by the English or the Dutch people. And so... It was, it's almost the same, like, you know, the yes. Afrikaans statue was made into our own language for people to understand. Yes, definitely. Yeah. Uh, okay, Hyejin, Hyejin, any Hangul classes next for beginner? Yes, to be honest, I'm, like, I'm doing a basic Korean. Yeah, but basic, uh, the, the Korean classes for the beginner, almost like paid, because I did everything and on February, I'm sorry, but I did all the all the lectures on the February for free, and then from March, there are a lot of beginners came here. So now, the classes for beginner is mostly got paid. Yes, it's paid lecture, um, mostly. I'm very sorry about it, but instead, I shared the classes for the beginner, got beginner beginner teaching Hangul and basic words in all my YouTube channel. Instead of that, I releases everything free so you can watch it and if you guys are interested to my paid class then you can join someday and yeah yeah thanks Hyejin yeah I appreciate it Hyejin yeah that's my answer but I released everything for free I did February so yeah thank you sensei oppa what is thank you sensei oppa are you Sylvia yeah <laughs> thank you teacher <laughs> Yeah, because there's teacher. like one, no, one, one student. Teacher big brother. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, like some yeah, there is a like um, English um, English trainer whose name is Sylvia. Yeah, she is the first people, uh, first person who called me Sensei Opa. So I think she 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 knows Sylvia well. Okay, so like I'll give you like trial. So the system of Hangul of consonants. So, as I told you before, single consonant is consisted of like 14, 14 single consonants. And there are five kinds of double consonants. So, can you see the sky blue, Omola? The five? Yes. These five sky blue consonants, we have, we, there is a double consonant. Yes. Okay, so these are the only consonants. Yes, that has a double consonant. Hyeok, Sangyeok, 
디귿, 쌍디귿, 비읍, 쌍비읍, 시읍, 쌍지읍, 지읍, 쌍지읍. Like this one. Okay. So, like, gasu, nabi. I only told no bachim, no bachim. And no final consonant, like, tubu, lobi, and moja, hat, b, rain. Moja, Yes. And shiso, siso, ori. Quack, quack. Orinen, quack, quack. Yes. And do so, address, cheese, cheese. Cheese. And cheese. 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 Okay, cheese. And then, cup, cafe, cafe. Toshi sleeves. Yeah, sleeve. Cafe, toshi, toshi. Oh, it's same Filipino. Okay, thank you. And then pizza, pizza, hama, hippo. Yeah, so. Hama. Yeah. We have like, yeah, so. Yeah, we have, yeah, we use this single vowel like this. And then when it comes to the double vowel, k, gaturi. Gaturi means a peacock. Uh, gaturi means a peacock. Totia. Gaturi. Gaturi. Gatri means peacock. Tortilla, which is tortilla. Pang, bread. Sada, cheap. Jajangmyeon, jajangmyeon, the Korean dish. Okay, so we used like this. Yeah, we have a vowel. Uh, so I made all. Uh, I made all this library by myself. So yeah, if you guys want to learn Hangul from me, then. I'll use this kind of like references. Yes. Okay.